everyone, Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video, and today Rockstar actually announced the new event week going on, and this one's actually kind of weird compared to all of the other event weeks. So it starts today on the 29th, which is a Tuesday, but then it goes until December 7th, which is a Wednesday. So it's eight days instead of seven, so it's not really a week, it's a week plus a day. And I'll get into why that might be important in a second, but as for what you get, this might be one of the better weeks they've done. It almost seems like this should have been the Black Friday sales, but they're doing it for a week, so that's even better. As the title states, the discounts are actually on some of the most useful items in the game. So you can get 50% off of executive offices, plus 50% off of office decor and customization, and all the upgrades in the offices for the next week and a day. But that 50% off of the executive offices is actually huge because if you watched my money guide video, if you don't have an office, that's one of the better ways to make a lot of money. And by the way, since a lot of you guys did sort of want to see a broke to millionaire guide, I'll be doing that. I don't know if it's going to be coming out today or tomorrow, but it'll be coming out soon. And it's actually perfect that this week came about because you could take advantage of that office being or the offices being 50% off, which means the cheapest one is only $500,000 and not a million, which anyone, 500000 that's easy to get. So that's a great deal. And considering becoming or getting an office, you get the ability to become a CEO, do VIP missions, call a buzzard, get free snacks. Like you get so many different options, so many different features that you get and unlock from becoming a CEO. So if you don't have an office, definitely buy one. Even if you don't plan on using the CEO crates, Definitely buy an office, especially for $500,000. That's, that's a steal for all the stuff you get. But speaking of buzzards, if you don't have a buzzard by now, which I'm sure most people do, but if you don't, 50% off of the buzzard is another steal. The buzzard is probably the best vehicle in the game. It's the most useful, that's for sure. You can call it if you are a CEO for free, wherever you want, whenever you want. You can use it in pretty much every mission, contact mission, VIP mission, CEO mission, MC mission. In my opinion, it is the best vehicle in the entire game. You know, even comparing it to the armored Kuruma or any of the supercars or any of the other flying Pegasus vehicles, it's the, the uh, Buzzard is definitely the best one. So if you don't have it, 50% off is a great deal for both the Buzzard and the offices. And then some other stuff they just threw in here. The Vapid Desert Raid is 25% off. Not a bad vehicle, but I don't know if you want to buy it. The Pegasi Reaper, 25% off. Again, not a bad vehicle. I don't like the looks of it, so that's obviously up to you if you want to purchase it. And then the Enos Windsor is 25% off. Pretty decent looking vehicle, so that might, that might be one of the better deals you get. As for some of the other discounts, 25% off all sniper rifles, shotguns, and body armor. So not anything too crazy with the weapons and armor. The biggest little update that this week gave us was that stunt props are now actually available in deathmatches, last team standings, and capture craters. So look at this picture. You can see you got stunt stuff in the back. This just means that these craters or the captures, uh, you know, maybe even like a snipers versus stunter mode, they, they might get revived. They might get a little bit crazier, a little bit better now that they have these or now that these craters have access to the stunt props i believe you can put up to 150 of the stunt props in the like in these death matches or captures but it includes the stunt tracks the stunt set pieces the stunt tubes ramps raised tracks signs and building blocks so i'm excited to see what people can come up with what these creators can come up with with the addition of those stunt items and then last but not least as always there's a premium race called turbine and it looks like it's an off-road race so if you want to check that out you know you might get some extra cash if you finish in the top three of that race but the biggest news or the biggest part about this little event week is the 50 percent off of the offices and the buzzard and then those stun props that's actually kind of cool now going back to the date real quick so december 7th that's next wednesday normally all these event weeks just go on for a week they go from tuesday to tuesday or friday to friday this one's going from tuesday to wednesday what this could mean and this is just pure speculation but if you guys remember all the way back to last year when the Executives and Other Criminals DLC came out, that was announced on December 10th, and then five days later, it was released on December 15th. Well, following that pattern, December 8th, which is the day after this event week ends, so December 8th, that, that would be next Thursday, they would potentially announce the next DLC, and then December 13th, five days later on Tuesday, they would release it. I don't know if that means anything, but I just thought that was pretty interesting 
to to share with you guys but anyway that is it with the video thank you all for watching drop a like if you did enjoy subscribe for more awesome gta content as always i will see you guys in the next one